Hi, I'm Terry, and today we're going to show you how to install a lorry deadbolt. Now these are a little bit confusing because most deadbolts have the screws on the inside. So it's pretty easy to figure out how to remove it. Yeah, it's double cylinders are a little different. So most of our quick set, slage, slage, uh, deadbolts, it's pretty simple. You got a couple screws, you take it out the traditional way. I'll just show you just real quick. We'll just pull this off the door. So we're just gonna... So pretty simple, a couple screws, you can see the screws, you can see how to take it apart. And everything apart. So that's your traditional single cylinder dead bolt. Now I'll show you the lorry. They're made by uh, Ilco, Unican, Caba, whatever you want to call them this week. It's not my favorite dead bolt. In the year, you know, 35 years ago it was a good dead bolt. Uh, and I'll show you why, because we could make almost any cylinder fit this. So, and that's why they're confusing when you see these on the door. Sometimes they'll say lorry, other times they'll say, uh, could be slage, could be Corbin, could be Medico, could be almost any type of lock. And you'll see why it's confusing for locksmiths and also uh, beginners, try, beginner locksmiths or just the home uh, do-it-yourself or try to take this lorry lock off the door. So this is the Ilco lorry. Pretty simple installation instructions. Now, you'll see it's already slightly different than our normal deadbolts. And what the important piece is on this is, it's the Allen key. You need a long reach Allen wrench or Allen key, whatever you want to call it. The Allen wrench or Allen key is 5 64ths of an inch. So this is what you need. And this is what's a real pain in the butt. And it has to be a longer one than normal. So sometimes your little kits don't have the reach for it. So that's the most important thing to the installation of this lock. And we'll just show you what we got here. Now this is a single cylinder. And it's pretty basic stuff. What you have here is the housing. And it's pretty easy. It says right on there, top. And is there an inside and an outside? Here's the confusing part. It has the little set screws, and you can't really see it when you're trying to take it off. But when we're putting it in, it's a little bit different. So to install it, we have the cylinder housing. Make sure your set screws are flush. It makes it easier to do the install. Top there, just place it in there. Take our deadbolt. You're basically going to feed it in there. This is the single cylinder deadbolt. So this is what comes in the kit. Now this is what gets a little confusing. These machine screws are for holding the thumb turn on. These ones in the bag here are for holding the housing to the bolt. So we'll take these out right now. So there we have, and now the bolt is into the housing. So the next step is we have to change. This is a mortise cam, and I have to use the Adams Wright cam. Take that off, put it in, and make sure you know you get the right side down. These these will sit flush. And that's another common mistake. People put these in. So again, just just tight. Don't over crank them. And they have to be flush. So we got the Adams Wright cam on the mortise cylinder. Everything's good. We got the right key. Okay, everything's perfect. So the spacer goes on first. And our little springy cover. And what we have to do now, take the outside housing. And what we're going to do is we're going to install it. It's going to screw in similar to an Adams Wright um, uh, storefront, but we're going to screw the mortise cylinder in here. 
And again, don't cross thread it. It's pretty easy to cross thread. And I take the key out a little bit and gently get it snug. We have the mortar cylinder in the outside. Now I'm going to install the thumb turn on the inside. Other screws. Again, don't force anything. You will cross thread the heck out of everything. So again, just do it snug. Double check it. And check this. Now what we have to do to make sure, make sure that's vertical. Now this is the confusing part. You gotta take your Allen wrench, 564, it has to be long. Now this is the uh, difficult part for most people. You have to get it right in there, you just sort of wiggle it a little bit, and then you get in the set screw. Right to tighten, and again snug, not crazy, so we know we're in, pull it out. Try that. Now yeah, we obviously didn't. Uh, I think we're. I got to go in a little bit tighter because see how it's binding a little bit there, right there. We're either binding on the. I think we're binding on the set screw. You'd have to back it off or put it in. So let's just we're snug. Now it's a lot better. So just test it by putting your locket. Take the key out. Unlock it, take the key out. One more check on the inside. Now we don't have to do the set screw there because um, it's a single cylinder and these are held into the housing, these two screws, so we don't have to set the screw there. The cover plate. Make sure it works. Don't over tighten these. If you over tighten it, you're going to find the bolt won't uh, open and close properly. There we go. Pretty simple. The advantage of this lock in the old days, I again, I, I'm not a fan of it right now. We run across a lot of them. Is I can put any mortise cylinder with the Adams Wright cam in here. So I can put in anything. I can put in a high security. Any, high, any mortise cylinder at all, any brand lock, any brand name will screw into that uh, and uh, you can key it up to anything. So it's a very versatile. In the old days it was versatile because we didn't have too much choice. Uh, now we have so many choices right now. As you know, my favorite is the take the Slage, Slage, the B660s uh, or the 560s or even the, uh, the N series, the new ones, the 60Ns. I can uh, put a change the kick cylinder. We call them kick cylinders. So it's a key and knob cylinder we can put in. But we're talking about this lock today. So this is the Lori Caba. In its day, it was versatile, but we run across a lot of these, and some customers still have them, and some uh, commercial buildings have boxes of these things. So we're still installing them. They're okay. I'm not a fan of them. I find um, if they're exposed to weather, that little set screw um, it rusts up, and the inside rusts up. Again, not my favorite lock. It's, it's not that cheap either, uh, but we run across them. So this is the Ilco Lori Caba style deadbolt. It's mostly called the Lori single cylinder deadbolt. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck when you run across these. Okay, have a good day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate and advanced as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.